Hey, what's up, Doc and fam? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been enjoying the videos, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you can share with me your epic single or multi summons. Now, in today's video, we're going to be hitting that super battle road. And as you guys can see, we're going to be doing the extreme int. Now, I just made a team that I basically tanked the event with. Like, it was probably one of the easiest runs I've ever done on Super Battle Road. And my, my team, it consists of probably some units that maybe all of you might not have at this moment in time, but you will get them. And at the end of the day, guys, Super Battle Road is, you know, it, it's not meant for the, the casual player. I mean, you gotta have some good units to take on Super Battle Road. Uh, so what I'm gonna do really quick is look for an ally, Gogeta friend that has a bit more power. These ones seem to be a little on the weak side. We got 18,000, 16,000 HP. All right, I'll go with the 18,000, there we go. So here's my team, guys. So my leader is obviously another um, LI Gogeta. And then I have a Rainbow Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. And then we have a Piccolo LI Trunks, um, a Super Vegito and a Vegito Blue. And then the items that I have, uh, let's go over those really quick so you guys know what they do. So for the items, the items that I'm using, if you have these items, you can kind of do it the same way I did here. They're all right next to each other. You got Icarus, which is reduces damage received by 35% for two turns. Then you have Bulma, which recovers 70% HP. And then all allies attack plus 25% for two turns. Um, then you have Android 8, recovered 70% HP again, and he boosts your defense by 50% for two turns. Uh, and then lastly, we have the Snake Princess, recovers 55% HP, damage received reduced by 30% for one turn. So you obviously want to make sure you're using items that allow you to boost your health, as well as get some other perks as well, either attack, but most importantly, defense boosting perks. And then I did want to show you guys something really quick because you're probably wondering why I have this Piccolo on my team. The other characters are pretty self-explanatory. They're hardcore units that do a lot of damage. Um, but this Piccolo, this is actually the TUR version of this Piccolo, okay? And the medals that you get to awaken this Piccolo, you can only get on the weekend. Um, but basically, you know, his... His special attack, he does extreme damage to enemy and he greatly lowers defense. So this unit, if he's on the board and you can get a super attack off, it's good to have his super attack aimed at the hottest hitter on the board, which is usually the first unit in line on each stage. But his passive skill, uh, defense plus 70% for all allies. And so if you really, if you die a lot in Super Battle Road because you take a lot of damage, Having Piccolo on the board gives you a plus 70% for all allies. It's a really good skill to have. And so with that being said, oh, and one more thing, guys. Um, <laughs> you can't tell from this screen, but my LR Gogeta, okay, he's actually at 97% hidden potential unlocked. I need like six or seven more large orbs in order to finish him off. But I won't be able to get those orbs until the end of the week, and I wanted to make this video now, and 97% is good enough. So with that being said, let's jump right in. <laughs> Being at 97% when rainbowing a unit is very frustrating, because <laughs> you just like, what the hell? And it's like you're so tempted to buy a hidden potential pack, but I'm not wasting my money on those. Those are a ripoff. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Right out of the gate, we got both LIs on the board. Let's do the difference. Yeah, so mine's gonna do, mine has about, what is it, 40,000 more attack power right out of the gate. So, not too not too much of a difference between these two LI Vegitos. But um, you always wanna take out the second opponent first, or the very last opponent, because usually they have lower HP. Um, on some bosses, though, that will change. But for this one, take out um, the second opponent first, for sure. All right, let's see, we need... So I'm gonna take this route because of the rainbow orbs. Ah, oh, so close to getting a super attack. Damn it. Okay. I thought I would get a super attack going the, super, the rainbow orb route. Take out Master Shen real quick. And he blocks so well. Look at that, he's only taking 109 damage. If it was any other unit, it'd be like, 40,000, 50,000 every time I got hit. 
Nice, those are my boys doing some work. Let's see if uh, Gotenks can finish him off. Gotenks is one of the hottest hitting units in the game as well. He is a powerful, powerful cat to have. If you don't have him, or if you do have him and you haven't been um, putting any orbs into him, I definitely would if I was you. And I experimented, guys, with a lot of different units um, before I came to this team. Um, another unit that I had experimented with was um, was was Badok to seal super attacks, but it wasn't really working out for me, to be honest. So I'm going to put Vegito Blue here because he tends to do a lot better job at blocking. Ella Trunks, well, at least mine, doesn't block for shit. So we don't, we're not going to rely on him for any blocking. And it looks like we're not going to get a super attack off with Piccolo, but we should have our plus 70% perk, which will definitely come into play. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, still 117,000 damage? There's no way. Should have been a lot less. That was weird. Nice. Wow, double super attack. And my ally Trunks also has, um, he's only missing one hidden path. So he's almost full rainbow as well. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll just go in with ally uh, Gogeta. Collect some health real quick. I like to do my best whenever I do Super Battle Road. Like, just because you have items, guys, you don't want to always have to be using them. You know, take advantage of the, of the units that you do have that are rainbowed. Um, try to get as many orbs as you can, as many of the same color orbs, so in this case Fizz. Try to get as many Fizz orbs as you can to replenish health that way, or take advantage of, um, of, of the stats of your cards to replenish health. I mean, it's going to be difficult to do because you'd have to run six rounds. Um, but LR Gogeta can replenish all your health once once you go to six rounds and he transforms. And I, I hope we don't have to do it here because that'd be kind of pathetic <laughs> having to do that on this crew. So real quick, I'm going to use a Snake Princess just because sometimes, you know, Frieza can come out. You can get super attacked right out of the gate by everybody right here. And I'm going to take my time and go for the Doria first, and I only need two. Yeah, like I get worried with, when, when Frieza comes out of the gate with that many attacks, guys, I get a little worried. Let's see what's gonna, someone's gonna super attack me, I know it. Here it comes. Oh, it's my super attack. <laughs> Let's see if we can kill the Doria in one hit. Ah, not enough to melt the Doria. Oh no, is Frieza gonna super attack my blue? Come on, dude, kill the Doria. Just kill him. Even with a crit, 68,000. Wow, not one person super attacked me. That's that's kind of rare. Or at least the Doria's dead. All right, here we go. We'll put Piccolo. No. I'm gonna kill Frieza, so I don't want... Hmm. Yeah, we have to go this way. All right, here we go, guys. Are we even gonna get a super attack off? Nope, that's okay. So one thing that sucks about Super Battle Road is you can you can take orb changes or have units that do orb changing, but it's a risk. Oh sweet! Ah, it didn't even matter. Here we go. Nice job. I really hope this takes out Frieza. I don't want Piccolo getting hit by Frieza. Yes! Nice. Here we go. Alright. 
Let's, you know what? Let's put our boys. Let's just put our boys in front. It's gonna get wrecked anyways. Yep, you're done. Should be able to kill Zabon pretty easy here. Wow. Some of these attacks, man, they just don't do any damage. And my my Super Vegito has well his he doesn't have well maybe that's the reason why I don't have any any orbs on his path. I just got a dupe of him. You guys saw my video, um, but he he doesn't have any orbs on that path yet. I always go bottom right first. Uh, we should replenish some health with these orbs. Nice. I don't think we're gonna make it to Go Tanks though. I'm pretty sure LR Gogeta is gonna take him out right now. I mean, I'd be, I'd be quite surprised if he did it. I mean, it'd be kind of pathetic. <laughs> nice. I don't even know who's next. I didn't even look. I'm so confident in this team that I didn't even look. Oh, we got Cooler. All right, Cooler. Let's take you out. This is actually one of the harder battles, in my opinion. So now this battle is going to be a little different, guys. Whenever you get Cooler on the board, he attacks a lot. So you're better off trying to take Cooler out as fast as possible. Look at him. Oh man, this is a... We're gonna have to put Piccolo in the end. Here we go. No, let's see. We're gonna have to go like this. So we're gonna have to do some defense boosting. So let's use Icarus for now. Don't wanna, I don't wanna waste the HP yet of Snake Princess. Now this is the better path. Get those rainbow orbs. Nice. All right. We only need three here. Nice. And now Piccolo, if we don't kill Cooler at this point, at least Piccolo can greatly lower his defense. Damn, 30,000. Not too bad, actually. Uh, barely even got halfway on that super attack, guys. I like these super battle road videos are fun, but I can't be like my eccentric loud self. I have to actually concentrate. <laughs> nice double super attack from my boy. Nice. That was that's what I was counting on. His damage output isn't the greatest, but his blocking and then countering is really good. Same thing with Vegito Blue. Now, let's see if uh, Piccolo is going to get tanked. Oh. <laughs> we might lose right now. Oh my god, we got so lucky. <laughs> see, look, now Cooler's defense is greatly reduced. See the little down little down arrow on the, on the Ama? So we're in a good position now to take him out. And we're gonna take him out just like this. We're definitely gonna replenish our health. So now we'll go Snake Princess real quick. Let's see where we're at with the docking. Hmm. We wanna be careful at this point now. Because what we don't wanna have happen, guys, is we don't wanna waste a docking attack on these losers, okay? So we wanna get super attacks but we don't, we want to try to not collect as many orbs as possible. Because that docking meter fills up real quick, man. Nice. Wow, double super attack. This is why I love having dupes. All right. Vegito, please just kill somebody for once in your life. It's like Vegito Blue has the ability to launch several additional attacks that do absolute shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, now we're gonna waste a freaking super attack from Gotenks. 
on Bowser. That sucks. It would be nice. My go tank is Rainbow. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll get a double super attack too. Yeah, you're dead. We are. We already knew you were gonna die, bro. <sighs> okay. We gotta be careful. We wanna at least get a super attack launched from you. <laughs> don't super attack. I mean, don't um dock it. Let's see. I'm gonna be so mad if like Naze has a sliver of life left and we have to launch a dock and attack. I'm gonna be so pissed. Come on, kill Naze. Oh my god. We're so close. I don't want to waste the super a dock it, I mean. Alright, let's see if we can get lucky. Uh, if we get all if we get all those orbs, we're screwed. Let's do it like this. Mm, it's gonna happen. Please don't happen. Oh, damn it! Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that's, I'm, I'm so pissed. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I didn't even know that. I hope that doesn't go away. So because we didn't launch a super attack, see, it's been... <laughs> It's been so long since I've I've done anything like this. I didn't realize that you keep the dock in as long as you don't launch a super attack. All right, so oh 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 wait a second. No, we gotta be very careful here because if we get I think two more orbs in him, he'll definitely launch a super attack. We do not want that to happen. If anything, we want one orb. Like under pressure right now. Ah, uh, he'll launch. One, two. Shit. <laughs> oh well. If Trunks can kill Naze, I don't know if the I don't even know if the docking carries over to the next stage. I've never done this before. Yes, it does carry over to the next stage. See, I even learned something new today. Oh, and it's Cell. Cell's about to get wrecked. Cell's whole family's going down on the first hit. As long as we get an L.I. Gogeta. Please be mine. Please be mine. Yes, it's mine. Oh, baby, you are so dead. So dead. Yep. Doesn't even matter who I attack right now. Because you're just going to die. Geez, this is even better than the first time. I didn't use any Bomas or Android 8s. And I like the docking on this on this unit is actually really slow, docking mode. Now I know we won't kill Cell right away, but we'll take out all of Cell's juniors. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god! One shot to kill the boss on a docking! Five million damage! Holy shit! That was insane! I've never taken out the final boss in one hit. That is crazy! Dude, that was... I was unexpected! That was cool. Well, there you guys have it. That's how you can defeat uh, the extreme, extreme int super battle road. Um, obviously, I have a lot of, I have a lot of really amazing units, but even if you have zero dupes in the units that I'm using, you should be able to take out um, the extreme int and super battle road. That was a lot of fun. And as you guys can see, I mean, I, I still have a ways to go before I clear them all. 
Uh, but if you want to see videos on the teams that I use to clear extreme strength as well as extreme fizz, let me know and I can make those videos next as I continue to build my teams to defeat some of these other super battle roads. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for tagging along. And if you had fun, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.